Hello, I am Joseph Lamprey with your 7 day forecast. It is currently, we currently have some heavy rain outside. It is 73 degrees, the humidity is 100%. Tuesday, which is yesterday, we had some sun to a 100% chance of thunderstorms. Wednesday, we will have a chance of the severe thunderstorms and we, it, we will have some heavy rain. Thursday and Friday we will have thunderstorms going from a 20 to 50% chance. Saturday we will have a 20% chance of showers to a 20% chance of thunderstorms. Sunday we will have the sun. And Monday we will have a 20% chance of thunderstorms. We will have a high of 94 this week. We will have temperatures going up. Once it gets to Wednesday, it starts decreasing. 93. 86, 84. Once it comes to Sunday, our temperatures jolt back up. 86, 89. Our lows are also the same. Tuesday to Wednesday, bolts up 72, 75. Then it starts going down. 72, 63, 61. And then it starts going back up again. 8, 63, 8. We don't have a temperature yet for Monday, but we will have that may come up by these storms passing. In Chicago, Illinois, this is my favorite forecast. It's got all sun except for Thursday. Tomorrow is our last day of maybe some thunderstorms. Not a very high chance. And then there you go. The rest of it is sun. So it is going to be a very sunny day in Chicago. And should I say sunny week. 66 degrees and the humidity 68 and again Thursday is the only day of 40% chance of thunderstorms now the more sun you get the hotter it gets so let's see we got temperatures up to 88 degrees on Thursday 76 79 88 was whenever it gets to Thursday Friday starts to go on a roller coaster 70 70 wait, 77, 79, starts going up, 86, and then 82, so it's just going down again. So we've got a roller coaster of temperatures for Chicago and Owen Malt. 65, 69, it rises up by Wednesday, it goes down by Thursday, 66, 65, increases by Saturday, 66, 68, and again we don't have that last temperature for Monday. This is not a complete refreshment of what it looks like as of alerts, but we will refresh them. As of now, what we actually have is we are under a severe thunderstorm watch and a flood watch. So we are going to be looking at any floods that may last. This severe thunderstorm watch will last until 10 a.m. It is currently 8.45, and the flood watch will expire at Flood watch will expire at 4 p.m. today. So these warnings will expire and then at 5 o'clock, no, at 4 o'clock, we won't have any more alerts. Now today through the afternoon, we are going to have a thunderstorm chance because we had a big chance of severe thunderstorms. That is why we have a severe thunderstorm watch. We have a big thunderstorm heading this way. So we'll be monitoring any other thunderstorms that may pop up. This thunderstorm is bringing flash floods. So we're going to be watching for floods too. We have a flash flood watch and a flood watch and a severe thunderstorm watch. In Hawaii, our hurricane is making landfall. In Honolulu, we have a lo hurricane local statement. We don't have any alerts yet as of now over here. We actually do. They are under a hurricane local statement, but we are going to be... It's not refreshed yet, so it's not going to show. But all around in the water in this pink, it is a, a hurricane local statement, gale watch, wind advisory, and a high surf board. This, all of this red, including over here and over here, this is a tropical storm warning. So you are being hit, and if you are over here, you are in the landfall of hurricane of, of a hurricane. These are our hurricane pictures we have so far. 
So you can see it's starting to make landfall right here by night. If you want to get a closer capture, we have a picture right here. You can see it making the landfall on the bottom of Hawaii. So we are going to be watching this hurricane. It's not bringing any severe lightning and it's not bringing very uh, extremely heavy showers, but this will be a little bit of, of a severity to monitor. For your 7 day forecast, I am meteorologist in training, Joseph Lampre.